Okay. So I'm going to read some poems. How long do I have? 15 minutes. That's including all the introductions to your poems, too. Okay, good. Okay, make sure, you know, well, I know it's Lee, so she's going to keep me in line. Um, <laughs> so just cut me off when I go over. I thought I was reading one poem, so I'm just, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll come up with some more. So I'm reading off the screen, so I can't see anybody now. So these are my, I call them my Anishna baby poems. They're uh, the poems I wrote for my daughter when she was about to be born. Um, and it was me forever trying to learn her language, Anishinaabe Moin, so I could speak to her with, with that, with those words. <clears throat> Anin, the spirit in me sees the spirit in you. Like Namaste, this word first acknowledges the brightness that comes from the inside and goes out. Before anything else, my spirit, my light, greets yours because what better way is there to begin <clears throat> Vindigan. Um, oh and, and the, the translation for I mean is is hello of course and Vindigan is means welcome come in take up the space we have made for you wherever I am there will always be a home for you you more surprise than expectation, who can ever fully expect anything to come in. There is a place here for you to be as much as you are. I have made myself as open as possible to let you be, come. Anishinaabe Moen, which translates to the, the language. <clears throat> this is what came before the world. It is called the world into being. So much older than what we speak now, it has flowed through more of your ancestors than any other. It has flowed within me, even when I don't understand, especially then. I don't really know how you came into being. It must have been this that called you. Nimama Aki, which is Mother Earth. Pregnancy has never been easy for me. My skin softens, swells, my limbs become tangents to my womb. I am uneasy without even a dubious sense of control. I am not like her. She who creates in constant, gestates, births, feeds, watches it all grow only to watch much of it die. Then she chills a morning rest and does it all over again. Nothing about her is extraneous. Everything in her is creation. She can be softness and strength. Even as we walk all over her, her heart remains full. Her pace never rushed or slowed. She just rolls on at ease, always in complete control. Nicomis Gizis. I probably butchered that. Nicomis Gizis, Grandmother Moon. <clears throat> I'm still learning, obviously. Old, gray, grated with age like cheese pushed through holes. She watches over and lights up for us, reflects our grandfather, but sings her own song. Quiet, constant.